Hope you're all still awake. Late night mega here. And, well, we finished cutting all the grass. Alright, let's see what you have to say. I mean, what are those sores up to anyways? The rivers run totally dry, right? I can't work like this. Ah. Cold. Ah, I miss my fur coat. You could probably just chop some of that hair off and make a nice warm sweater out of it. Oh, hey there. Oh, uh, we need to be getting to the other side, I believe. That's not the way to do things. Alright, let's go down this... Okay. We'll go down this way. There's an interesting looking crystal. It's just a thing to break. And I think if we go up here... I think we don't actually get to go up here. That's unfortunate. If you look at where we are on the map now... Yeah, this whole trail was that uh, flying mini game, and we're way up here now. Even though our map still says to go down there. Yeah, things just get a little odd. But let's follow, well, what's supposed to be the river path. And see where this gets us. We're at Zora's Domain, and this is all uh, ice and snow, if you can't tell. Yes, it's the Zora Village. Well, Zoras can't really live in the cold. We've learned this in uh, Ocarina of Time. Let's go see if we can fix this. This guy's gonna bother us, so we gotta get him out of here. Yeah, this is just going to be another uh, jumping section. as we climb the icy waterfall. I think, yeah, no, we don't go that way. Oh, that hurt. We fell. Uh, we better fill up. Yeah, falling from greater heights will also deal more damage to you than just, like, one heart. Oh, come on. Fighting aerial enemies is a dog. Not always uh, the most effective. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. I'm not sure what went wrong with the jumping. Maybe I was just pressing A too fast and gotta let Minna get to her spot. That must be what happened. No, the thing... The thing. The evil ice crystal that's filled with hearts. Waits till I get near it to trigger. Not that, you know, the presence of someone else should physically trigger something like that. No, get up there. There we go. Now we're at the top of Zora's Domain. Uh, 
Oh, well, doesn't this look lovely? First things first, kill you. Oh, you're not going to... Okay, kill you. Yeah, you're going to shriek. Because I killed the first one too quickly. Okay, so kill you. Go back over here. Why didn't you... Uh, fighting on ice. Alright, take you out. There we go. And this will open up a nifty warp portal. A portal has opened here too. We can finally warp. If you want to breathe the air of the world of light for a moment, let me know. I'll take you there. Whoa, hey. Down, look below the ice. Ah, oh, there's all the Zoras. They are frozen under there. That's not good. These... Those are the Zoras. Wow. This is really strange. What in the world happened? Hey, what do you want to do? We can't just leave them like this. I think all we need to do is thaw them out. It does no good to just stand around here thinking, let's leave and come back later. The portal should work for us. We need to find a way to melt the ice and then come back here. Fortunately, I already know how to do that. So we're going to warp yeah, over to Death Mountain. I'm going to take that big heated rock that had its own cutscene for no... Well, for no real reason at the time, but uh, just to show you it was an important item. I told you we would come back to this. This. Ah, there it is. But it's still pretty hot. Yeah, it is. So we're going to warp it back to Zora's Domain. With how big the world is, the warping feature is very nice. Pretty soon we're going to start finding warp spots everywhere. Yeah, that's one way to break the ice. And now that the water's flowing in Zora's Domain again, uh, it'll fill up the lake downstream. Well, that's one problem fixed. Who knew that something so dangerous would come in handy? Alright, the Zoras are safe now, so let's go. The ice melted and restored the water flow to normal. Can we finally meet the spirit of Lake Hylia? Yes, we can. Uh, is there anyone interesting to talk to? Not, not really. They're all still pretty exhausted. What about those in the waterfall pool? And I think if we look down... No, we don't get a good shot of it here. Can you still see that rock? You can kind of see where it's taking its place down there. Wait! What? Who could be talking to me?
please, you must allow me to thank you for revitalizing both my people and this spring, which is the water source for all the lands of Hyrule. In life, I was the elder of the Sora village and the queen of my people. I was called Rutella. Probably some sort of descendant of Princess Ruto for Macarena of Time. Again, I love the references. Oh, shut up, Midna. I did. The Dark Ones, they raided this village and, as a message to my people, executed me before them. Young man, you who take the form of a proud beast, I have something to ask of you. When the Dark Ones descended upon our village, I sent my young one, Rallis, to Hyrule Castle to inform Princess Zelda of our fate. But I fear danger followed him from this doomed place. I feel it. His presence grows fainter to me over time. Yeah, we met him. He's kind of not doing very well. My time in this world has passed, and though I would give it gladly, I no longer have a life to risk in his rescue. Please, would you save my dearest Prince Rallis? If you do this thing, I will bestow upon you the protection of water. This power will grant you the ability to swim and respire in very deep water, as if you were Azora. Please, save my son. Another quest activated. Yeah, well, we're going to need that for the next dungeon. Yep, we got to return the world to light first. So remember that quest for a little bit later. That's another thing that always confuses me about the order of uh, events in Twilight Princess, since you have so many different uh, aspects going on at the same time. We've got Ilya that we met, we found in the Hyrule Castle town. Uh, Yeah, we can just let the water take us there. We And, uh... Yeah, the water will push you very fast. And then you'll come out here. At Lake Hylia. Ugh, aren't you awake yet? Look, we got washed all this way down to Lake Hylia, just as I predicted. Looks like we're right in front of the Spirit Spring to boot. Talk about lucky. So yeah, we had uh, the whole low water level to deal with, the Frozen Zora's Domain, the Sick Prince, and Ilya. So yeah, lots of things going on at once. But now we can finally meet the Light Spirit and get on with uh, the Light Bug hunting. Or almost failing to meet the Light Spirit. And there is stuff in here to find. I don't remember if it's money or a piece of heart or something, but yeah, there's more to this place than the other Light Spirit... Uh, spirit-dwelling places... Uh, yeah, Consumed by Twilight, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacred Tears of Light, gather them in this. Mark the things on our map so we can do that. And we'll be underway. I'm sure you know now. The dark insects, yep. Twilight insects, invisible humans. Yep, we're gonna get rid of the cloud of twilight. And let's check our map just to see where they are. They're everywhere. Oh, there's one back at uh, Hyrule Castle. Yeah, this one, this one takes a while to deal with. So let's get started. Also don't remember the best order to do this in. 
I guess we'll go around all the Zora waterways first and then make our way back to the Hyrule Castle area. Oh, there's one right off the bat, but it's going to uh, give us a little bit of a chase. How did you... Yeah. Alright, let's see what else we can find here. Oh, really? This is not what we need. And just watch for how many guys drop. Because sometimes, uh, as we have seen in the past, there might be four. And there's... Yeah, you kind of got to bring a couple of these uh, closer together. So you... You come over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, he's too far away. Yeah, I know. Okay, you guys chill there. I'm gonna go deal with this one. Alright, you come here. You come here. Hey. I said you come here. Do you not hear me barking. Come here, a little bit closer. There we go. But fortunately, they're going to start giving us some warp points, too. So if we go through an area, we find ourselves far off, and we missed a thing, we can warp our way back. Those guys drop hearts out of convenience. Well, let's go this way first. But, yeah, don't use the dash through here. Is where we need to go uh, somewhere over there. Yep, we almost didn't make that. Yeah, we come up to this area. There's the bug. Got a couple more to find out here at the lake. One is out over this way across this bridge. What does Midna want? Oh, yeah, we've already. Kinda of done that, but we don't need to do that yet. Oh, there you are. Where did you go? There you are. Got him. And let's go get the one in this direction. This will require a little bit of swimming. Yeah, I mean, I understand the need to have this uh, be a large place, but I feel that the lake is just a little bit too large as far as traveling and what you end up getting at the lake. Well, there's plenty of things to do here. This place will look great when it's not, you know, covered in twilight. I know Midna won't think so, but uh, her opinion does not matter to me. What's that? Over there. It's an insect.
And there's also a cave. There's something over here. I thought there was like a little cave or something. You can probably see it better in the light. Okay. Next up, it's time to howl. Now to get the big mutated dark evil bird thing to take us uh, up through that stream again. Well, let's see if we can get this on our first try. Well, that's... There we go. We got two. Yeah, you can still use your senses as the uh, dog. This game is quite generous with having the bugs travel. Okay, no more bugs here. Now you can see this place is more filled with water now. The waterfalls will push you down a bit, so that's why I'm trying to avoid them. So yeah, this is a neat little mini-game, and it'll turn into uh, kind of an archery type of minigame as you ride a raft down here when we restore this to light. And we're back out to this area, and there's a howl statue over there that we can't get. Aww. 